So hello, this is Ilenjats and um, today I want to show you a really cool tool which will save you loads of work. Um, you know that uh, Visual Studio 2010 and all other Visual Studio versions are extensible uh, through so-called extensions. And if you go to the extension manager and you go to the online gallery and um, you type here ghost doc, you will find a really cool extension which automatically generates XML documentation or comments using by inherited documentation. I have already installed the extension and um, I like to show you how it works. And um, at first I want to go to the ghost doc options and you can see here um, in the rules section, you can see all the elements that will be automatically documented by GhostDoc. So GhostDoc comes in two versions, in one free version, which I have installed here, and in a GhostDoc Pro version. But I don't want to go much further into the details um, of the two versions and also uh, not into the configuration too deep. I like only to give you an overview over this really cool tool. So. You can see that here are rules implemented. If you double click one rule, you can see uh, the rule editor for this rule. And um, here you can see the name, default documentation and matches any class. So you can see here the documentation tag, the XML documentation tag. And if you double click here, or if you click here, um, you can see um, what this variable name means. If you click on end, you can see specifies the place where the cursor will be located after documentation has been generated. And so here are many rules defined and um, as you can see, and it will save you really lots, lots of work. And um, if you look at the acronyms tab, you can see that Goldstock automatically treats all words consisting of only consonants, e.g. HTML, XML as acronyms. So they will be written like you have defined them in your code. And um, if you go through this list, you see that there are already many acronyms defined, um, which will then be replaced by GhostDoc. And here also words, um, certain words trigger a reordering of an identifier words. For example, size, file buffer size, this will uh, result to size of the file buffer and prefix words tweak this reordering as they will stay in front of the word. Here's an example, initial buffer size and initial buffer size will be transferred to initial size of the buffer. This is really interesting. So you can play around here with these options and test it and uh, you can set the options which are really right for you. And no, the words are all words uh in in um the um, <laughs> which um which in ghost dog will not uh put an z in front of in certain situations ghost dog inserts the z when creating sentences from identifier names the so called no z words are words that must not be preceded by a z that's simple and here you have additional options. Um, you can see, you can select the textual representation of the keywords true, false, null, depending on whether you prefer better readability in your source code or better results with tools that generate help files from the documentation comments. So you can set it here to true or to okay or here to not okay or something else, anything that you prefer. So here's some custom text defined, which will be put after each documentation element and uh, you can set here your individual text and I have uh, configured here or pre-configured it to insert the environment uh, dot username, environment dot machine name and environment date and time after each document. So I click apply and OK and now you can see the magic happen. I right click here and say document this and I can type now my uh, documentation in and I say 
this is a sample sample class generated for demonstrating demonstration of ghost dog okay and this is the class summary and you can see here the text i've defined in the options if i go to ghost dog and configure ghost dog and options so this is the line which is inserted after every documentation block so i have here a private field static field s underscore connection string and i right click and say document this and you can see this is some private field so the next one is more interesting i have here a public property of int and i say document this and you can see what is generated out of the name of the property gets or sets the employee counter this is equal with the soundings of uh, the Microsoft documentation, gets or sets the employee counter. And the value, the employee counter, this element was inserted and so on. It's inserted everywhere and so um, you can insert here special elements. Maybe um, for, for, for your documentation, guidelines or something else. So I right click again, the next one. I document this, document this. So, gets or sets a value indicating whether this instance is a long term employee. This is really interesting. Interesting, you, you only go here and replace the instance with an employee. And the values see through if this instance is a long term employee, otherwise. Otherwise, false. You see, the documentation is uh, generated really quick. And here we have an enum. And we say document this. And you see, OK, I can insert here this employee. This is a male person. This is a female person. Okay. And now we can check the main method. And it will be a little bit funny. Mains the specified args. This is the main method. And if you take a look at the next uh, method, you can see that the documentation will be much better. So I've, I've done here the camel case notation, and you can see the result does the link queue expressions, which is really good, good enough for me. And let's go to the next method. Actionizes the, the end funks. <laughs> you go here and replace it. actions and funks. So let's go to the next method. You see sums the test method. Only some test method. In a few minutes you can document your code with some base comments and um, even uh, if you need to replace some text, I think it will save you loads of time. You can see that we have already documented all of this or the whole class and uh, yes, I think it is a good tool and uh, it, should be, it should be used. Okay, thank you really much.